and scroll down to the second one here where it says boot. Now do not mess with any of these others. When I got mine into a boot loop, I accidentally went down to fast boot mode. Do not do that. So just go to boot here, hit the button. You will then see a selection for mini or five. We're using the mini. Then let it load. You'll hear the fan kick on first. It does take a second. And there we go. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred ten, hundred ten, hundred ten, hundred ten, hundred twenty, hundred twenty, hundred twenty, hundred twenty, hundred twenty, hundred twenty. No wait, I'm I'm not an auctioneer. Hey deadheads, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel for the first time, new deadheads. Today we're gonna take a look at this, the Retroid Pocket Mini. We're gonna explore Linux on it. It's a topic that I think is not getting enough attention. There's so much focus right now on pin tile screens and whether these shaders are working correctly and all this stuff that I just don't want to get lost in how awesome this unit is. It is the most powerful Linux handheld other than the Steam Deck and it's the most powerful one we have that is pocketable. I've been waiting a long time to get a handheld like this and Linux is amazing on it. We currently have uh, Batocera and Rocknix so today we're going to take a look at Rocknix and make sure you check out Retro Game Core. That's where you can see the on how to set this up but I'm going to show you some footage and show you why port master on this thing is amazing anyways let's head on all right guys and so to get into Linux you want to start off in your Android build and then you're just going to reset or power off and restart now when you hit restart hold down the volume up button here until the logo comes up let off and you should see this menu when you see this menu then you're going to go and scroll down to the second one here where it says boot. Now do not mess with any of these others. When I got mine into a boot loop, I accidentally went down to fast boot mode. Do not do that. So just go to boot here, hit the button. You will then see a selection for mini or five. We're using the mini. Then let it load. You'll hear the fan kick on first. It does take a second. And there we go. All right, guys. So now I have Rocknix loaded. I have installed it and I have put some games on here. Um, earlier, as I said, this is the little device. This is a Samsung. It's a USB 256 gig um, micro drive that I use to transfer my games over. Um, there are several different ways to move games onto here. Um, since we only have the one SD card, my recommendation is to grab you something like this and put all your games and BIOS and files on here and then just hook it in directly into this and transfer using the built-in file manager. It's going to make life better. But one of the things about going this way is it does take a lot of work to get this set up. But once this thing is set up and you have your games loaded, it's pretty amazing. So you can see the normal emulation station sort of thing here. But again, the biggest reason that I wanted to uh, show this off was for ports and Portmaster. And so I have downloaded a bunch of free ports as well as some ports that I own. And I wanted to showcase UFO 50. This is a fantastic game that just came out on the PC. Make sure you go to Steam, purchase the game, and then I'll have down a link in the description on how once you've purchased the game, you can transfer this over to your handheld and play this amazing port. So let's take a look at this game real quick and play a little bit of UFO 50 on the port master running on this beautiful OLED screen. And guys, if you hadn't caught on or, or recognized, no, you cannot do this on Android. Gosh, look how gorgeous that is. So as the name indicates, there are 50, yes, 50 little different types of games here. Um, that you can play with and I've only started to really delve in and uh, play with these games But there's all types of, of different types of games to play and explore and it is just really really nice So let's look here This Lords of Disconia. Let's try this one and see what this is like Oh, this looks interesting
And again, the, the team at Portmaster that put in their selfless time and energy to help port these games, they're amazing. I um, want to thank them for our community. It is just really, really wonderful what they do here. So it looks like we're working with the queen. Harassing a mountain pass, okay. So you can go in here into the settings and you can change this. I have an aspect ratio. If you want to stretch it, you can stretch it. Uh, or you can go into integer scale here and you can have your bilinear filter on. But I'm going to maintain the aspect ra ratio like the intended. I'm going to switch games here. Sorry, deadheads, but this is not my style of games here. Let's go back to the library. Oh, yeah. Yes, I want to really close it. All right. Let's start out with Mortal. So there are different types of games here. And here's a little explanation of how to play this game. So it's giving you little instructions here. All right, let's start with the level here. Now keep in mind, guys, this is a beta. So this is a beta build of Rocknix. All right, so let's jump. Boom. All right, I took him out. Oh, so you don't want to stick there or go over, so I'm going to have to jump. Oh, let's see here. Now I need to be stone. Got to make some stone bridges. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And you only have 11, I only have 11 left. So, ah, see, this is pretty challenging. So it's like a puzzle game. Get over here. No, don't land on it. Ah, oh, nine more tries. I am not very good at this, deadheads. Oh, that did not help. <laughs> there we go. Oh, exploded it. So yeah, so this is a pretty fun game. And again, there, there is 50 different games um, in all. And right now... I have it, let's try this one, the Seaside Drive. Um, right now I have it listed in games that I've played, but you can sort it in many different ways. All right. So this is a little shooter driver. Whoops, don't hit me. So this is pretty nice, kind of not bad. Seaside Drive. Oh man, exploded. Looks like I can drift too. Oh, somebody coming behind me. Always coming behind me. You gotta watch behind, watch your back. I don't know, Deadheads, but if you play games, you gotta watch your signals, watch your back. Oh, this one's jumping. Oh no. Ah! That was not good. So again, on this amazing looking OLED screen, it's just gorgeous. And I intend for this, the mini, I, I have plenty of Android devices. Um, so this is gonna be my Linux machine. Uh, and one thing that nobody has been talking about, this is the most high powered Linux machine um, that we've had to date. Yes, the GameForce Ace was previously it, but this, this chip is going to outperform that. And freeware games they're going to play on portmaster on other systems so it's not really these games that we're excited about it's the ones that are going to be coming and again guys don't go looking for these to be on there for free you're going to have to port them that's what this is it's a port of games you already own um, and so if you're, you're looking for something like shredder's revenge 
or something like that, please go purchase the game, um, which means you can play it on your PC and anywhere else as well, and uh, support the developers. But this little F-Zero game right here is pretty nice. A lot of fun. And you can see it looks fantastic on the screen. Alright, and so as we load up some PlayStation 2 here, we'll play some Crash Twin Sanity. I have really fallen in love with this game. And setting this up is um, a little bit different than on Android. Um, there are plenty of guides out there. This is not intended to be a guide, but I'll leave some links to where I uh, use some of my um, subscriptions videos to find links to how to do this so you guys can get this all set up. You do need to acquire a BIOS and of course the ROMs and load them in in a specific way. Let's go to my save here. Yes. Oops. Come on. Load game. By the way, guys, happy November. Can't believe it's November. And while everybody is focused on whether or not shaders <laughs> or this screen is precisely what it is, I'm over here having fun, you know, playing on Linux. And guys, I hope that anybody watching this, because not enough of my uh, peers out there in the community are, are speaking about this. Russ did an excellent guide um, on setting this up. So if you need to set this up, I'll point you over to Russ at Retro Game Course video and how to get this set up but yes you can see that we are getting really good fluid and let me zoom in here so you can see that we're running at 512 by 448 we're getting 60 frames solid I can up the resolution a bit now with this current build I'm not sure if it's been um, uh, the battery has probably not been optimized so you know expect that this is still a beta build and there's things here that may not be up to the level that um, we're wanting them to be but it's still amazing guys that we are playing PlayStation 2 on, me, that's so funny he's dressed up as uh, as her So yeah, just beautiful, looks beautiful on the screen, it's playing well. Uh, we're in Linux, guys. Um, Linux development, I think, is still ongoing for this um, emulator. I don't know, I need to check on that. But we know that Android development is sort of, uh, ooh, as I poo-poo there, Android development has sort of you know, died out. But So again, another reason to get over here on Linux is um, just that there's a ton of development going on in this world still. And um, in case you were wondering, it's here's how the menu looks. It's, it's pretty familiar, you know. Um, you can go in, you can go to the settings, and we can do what we're used to doing. Let's see what, I don't remember. We have it rendering in OpenGL. Um, let's see here. We're at native internal resolution. Let's turn this resolution up. Let's go to 2x. And man, it looks even better. It looks even cleaner. And it's still running good. We're still getting 60 frames per second, guys. So we're at now um, 1024 by 896. And yes. Now, again, this is not going to play Jack 3 at the level that we need it to play. It's certainly going to struggle with Jack 3. Um, but. It's going to play every PS2 game you can imagine at 1x, at native resolution. And then it's going to play a lot of these upscaled at really good, like Crash Twin Sanity right here is playing. 
So yeah, guys, this is a uh, look. Let's take a look at some uh, Nintendo Wii. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I'm back again to talk to you guys about the double 11 sale coming up soon from our friends at AliExpress. Um, I want to talk to you about some things that you can get like this guy right here, which we have said is the best starter handheld of the year. For most people, if you're going to get a starter handheld or gift it to somebody as a starter handheld, the Ambernic um, RG40XXH is probably one of the better ones to give them, especially since the stock firmware has become so good lately. Again, check my uh, description for codes and look for more sales coming up as we get closer to the double 11 sale. I want to again thank our friends at AliExpress for uh, supporting this channel and let's get back to the video. And as I wrap up this video, we'll take a look at some Mario Kart Wii here. And again, uh, guys, this is a beta. It needs a lot of optimization still. Um, it is beginning to get a little warm back here and the fan has kicked on. So keep that in mind. The battery life on this is probably not quite optimized yet. Um, but the good thing is this is an active development. It's going to keep being updated. And my uh, mad respects to the team over at Rocknix and every one of those guys that put in their selfless time and energy to improve this. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's impressive? Are you interested in going with Linux here? Um, we, we can focus over minutia like whether a shader and the pixels are matching exactly as they should. But let's not lose sight of the really awesome stuff going on here. Um, again, I have waited a long time for a, a Linux handheld that can, that's not the size of Steam, that can be pocketable, but play PS2, GameCube, and Wii. And guys, that day is here now. And um, Retroid has made just an amazing little machine here that I think is worth every penny. Um, I'm looking forward to the 5 when we get that in. And uh, putting Linux on it, but I may I may run the file on Android since it's got more RAM and it's gonna do you know switch uh, And this isn't so uh, this may be my Linux machine and I'll leave Android on 5 So anyways guys, let me know what you think about this video if you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you check out Russell's um, Guide to get Linux going on your uh, pocket mini by the way the current build lets you choose whether you're loading this on the Mini or the 5. So they're going to support the 5. So Rocknix will be set up and ready for the 5. So pretty exciting stuff. Anyways, guys, remember to hug your loved ones and love your hugged ones because tomorrow's never promised. We'll see you next time. Get Fred out.